AST limiting will be calculated from MU limiting. Now your MU limiting formula, you know this is given in the code. This is the formula that you have for MU limiting. But if you use this formula, how will you get the value of AST? It's simple. Your MU limiting now becomes, if you can use here AST limiting in place of MU limiting. So you can use the same formula. MU is 0.87 FY. Because for a balance section, when you, you are calculating MU limiting, so this 0.36 xu max by d will uh, into this whole this will be then equal to 0.87 fy ast but not ast ast limiting so we'll be using this formula ast fy ast d FY STD one minus AST FY BD. So how much is this? Okay, 0.87 FY is 500 into AST. Now this is AST limiting. Into D, how much is D? Your D is 429 into 1 minus again this will be AST limiting here into FY is 500 divided by B, B is 200 or 300. Two fifty. Your D is four twenty nine into FCK. FCK is how much? Twenty five. ये दूसरी बार वन नहीं आ रहा है। Here you have तो what is MU limiting कितना है value MU limiting का? It's one fifty three point six eight
we'll convert it into Newton mm so it's 10 raised to the power 6 is 0.87 into 500 now we can get this through 0.87 fy is into 429 this is 186615 solve it at your own places for ast limiting minus Thirty four point eight. Is it thirty four point eight? Share of this. Yes, anyone? Are you solving it? One zero one six and one six. You have solved it. This is this is the formula you are getting. How much are you saying? Kitna One zero one six mm square. Just a minute, let me also solve it. Uh, I'm getting two values. One is one zero one zero, and other is four three five two. Yes, somebody else. One zero one six Arathan. It's somewhere near one zero one zero. One zero one zero point one five. So AST limiting. The value of this is coming to be 1010.15 and this will be mm square. <clears throat> yes, some someone else who gave the answer right now? Fazila. Someone else? Has someone else solved it? Yes, sir. 1016.01. 1016 are yes sir so let me correct it it's 10 1016.01 okay so this is the value of ast limiting now corresponding to this ast limiting what you will do is that you have to determine AST, the total uh, value of <coughs> AST. So next step is step number three, probably you are determining the value of AST. AST means area of steel 
on tension side you have to first determine this ast uh, so we i just told you ast is ast limiting plus delta ast just discuss this ast tension side is ast limiting plus delta ast but the code mentions it as like this ast is ast1 plus ast2 in code ast limiting is ast1 as per code's notation and this delta ast is ast2 then this is total ast that you need to provide on the tension side now ast limiting we have calculated now further you have to now calculate the ast delta ast or ast2 so as per code how much is that ast2 this from this formula asc fsc by 0.87 fy Your AST2 is ASC, FSC by 0.87 FY. Now, do you know ASC at present? We do not know. Do you know FSC at present? We do not know. We only know FY here. So it's not possible before we do some assumptions to calculate this value. Uh, that's AST2. For that, what we need to do is pehle hum AST limiting ke liye steel provide karenge. Let's provide steel of around kitna chahiye hume? 1016 so let's provide 20 mm bars on tension side for tension side reinforcement for corresponding to ast limiting what is the area of single steel bar 20 mm it's 3.14 divided by 4 into 20 square so ye kitna ban raha hai yes somebody How much is this value coming to me? 340. So you have area of single steel bar 314. So total is how much you need for AST limiting? 1016. So how many bars would you require? Number of bars required would be One zero one six point zero one divided by three hundred fourteen. Ek bar ka hai. So number of bars that you are providing is one zero one six point zero four divided by three hundred fourteen. So three point two three bars. That's you have to provide greater than this. So you are let's provide then how much. Four number bars. Each is twenty mm dia. Hari ka dia twenty mm <coughs> as AST limiting. So 
initially now we have to provide four number bars Initially, you are providing four number bars. AST, all four are 20 mm. So you are providing four number 20 mm bars. <coughs> now, what should we do to provide the how do you now there are two ways to do do this Jabab, because you ast2 is dependent on asc either you assume the value of the compression reinforcement or what do you do you are providing you are assuming the value of ast2 so what we'll do we'll provide certain amount of compression reinforcement and this will be actually an assumption we will be assuming a 20 mm bar for compression steel <coughs> what was the value of d dash E dash ka value kitna aara tha? 44. 44. Our D dash was 44 mm. <coughs> to wo hamne kaise calculate kiya? 30 mm was our cover. Plus 8 mm ka stirrup. And uh, uh, how much did we take at that point? 12. Kitna liya tha ye compression? 12. 12. 12. Now I am assuming 20 mm. Let's change it then for 20 mm ke liye kitna aega? 20 mm ke liye 48 mm aega? D dash? Is it? <coughs> right? Yes sir. Is it? 48 hi aega? Sir, I missed him about the other, sir. Uh huh. Sir, 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 आप कह रहे हो कि वे हैव टू रिवाइज वहां पे हां यू कैन रिवाइज दैट एज़ वेल बट इट विल हैव लीस्ट इंपैक्ट इट विल नॉट हैव मच इंपैक्ट अगर आप उसको रिवाइज भी करोगे uh this which we assumed it will not have much impact in the overall calculations you can revise it but it will create a lot of problems for you to keep on revising the things at this stage we are uh, continuing yes, with the process, so we are providing 20 mm bar compression reinforcement. Provide kar rahe. So D dash is 48 mm here. <coughs> In that case, In that case, now we have to provide AS, delta AST. That is equal to mu minus mu limiting. Divided by 0 0.87 into 
f y into d minus d dash it's given in the code This mu minus mu limiting is FSC into ASC into D minus D dash. So now we are calculating ASC or delta and AST. How much is that? This value. You will get ASC or delta AST from here. It will be mu minus mu limiting divided by fsc into t minus d dash now fsc we are assuming here to be point for corresponding to 0 0.0035 and you are getting a value of a 0.87 fy because we are actually calculating corresponding to this we are calculating delta ast <coughs> so from this uh, equation that I have taken from the code. So your delta AST then comes out to be how much? MU minus MU limiting. Now your MU is 238.92 238.92 minus MU limiting is uh, how much? 153.68 into 10 raised power 6. We are changing it into Newton per mm divided by 0.87 into Fy is 500 into D is 429 around and this is 48 so this value will come out to be <coughs> Five hundred fourteen point three one mm square. So your delta AST is five hundred fourteen point three one mm square. <coughs> Thereby, corresponding to this, we just have to calculate the total AST that we require. So you can say this is AST2, but we have assumed two things here. While number one, we have assumed that corresponding FSC is 0.87 FY here. We have assumed that. Second thing, we provided 20 mm compression reinforcement. We assume that we are providing that such that you are getting D dash equal to 48 mm here. We assume these two things. So your total AST is AST limiting or AST1 plus AST2 or delta AST. Don't get confused with the notation. AST limiting is AST1 and delta AST is AST2. So your total AST would be if you provide it separately already provide Now you can do two things. 
you can now provide this separately provide for the 20 mm bar you can do that or you can provide lesser section bar 16 mm bars now for delta est for delta est so ek bar ka area kitna hoga uh, area of single bar सिक्सटीन एम एम जो है उसका एरिया कितना होगा यस हाँ जी कितना आ रहा है टू जीरो वन पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स टू जीरो वन और टू हंड्रेड पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स बार्स Each bar is 16 mm. कैसे थ्री बार्स प्रोवाइड करना है जस्ट सिंपल फाइव हंड्रेड फोर्टीन डिवाइडेड बाई टू हंड्रेड सो यू यू आर गेटिंग टू पॉइंट समथिंग विच इज थ्री बार्स वो आर प्रोवाइडिंग थ्री बार सिक्सटीन एम एम फॉर डेल्टा आई एस टी आई दर यू डू दिस और यू फर्स्ट आप पहले ए एस टी टोटल निकाल दो विच विल बी ए एस टी वन और ए एस टी लिमिटिंग Oh, how much was that ast limiting we got kitna aaya tha main this 1016 1016.01 plus this is 514.31 total is fifteen hundred and thirty and I'm square so then you are providing for example if we take twenty mm bars all then हम क्या प्रोवाइड कर रहे हैं हमनी बार टू वी है प्रोवाइड फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड थर्टी पॉइंट थ्री टू डिवाइडेड बाई एक बार का कितना है थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टीन ट्वेंटी एम एम बार का थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टीन इज द एरिया ऑफ सिंगल बार दैट्स अराउंड फाइव बार्स so this is the better way of doing it we are providing five bars hash each bar is 20 mm now either of the two processes you can implement so overall now you may get so this is now revised you will get a section which is got Five bars <coughs> each is twenty mm. Or if you use the first method, then you would have got four bars, जो पहले मिले थे for AST limiting. then within the, those four bars you had to fill up three 16 mm bars but actually you are wasting the amount of material by this method so we will not go with this method we will stick with the second method ast is ast limiting plus delta ast 
so now we know how much is the how many number of bars do we require on the attention side we have provided that we have provided five number of bars 20 mm5 each so what is the total uh observe a calculate curve what is how how much is the area of steel that we are providing on the uh, ten, tension side now what's the total amount of steel that we are providing <clears throat> yes One five seven zero. G. One five seven zero m square. It's we are providing five into three point one four divided by four into twenty. This is what we are providing. That's one. How much are you? One five seven zero. Now, out of this, tell me what was AST limiting? What was AST limiting? One zero one six point zero one mm square. Tha. So, how much is actual delta AST that you have provided? Or AST two you have provided? It's one five seven zero. Minus one zero one six point zero one. Is that right? I expect every one of you to take your calculators and keep on solving. So your delta AST is which you are actually providing. The required amount was 514, which you provided. This, this is provided. This is, so we have provided delta AST of 553.92. Now, in next step, we then calculate. So this is step number four now. We calculate ASC. How much is the ASC that we require? Now, for that, we just had this formula. Jo humne likhi thi yahan par. This <coughs> ASD two is ASC into FSC divided by point eight seven FY. <coughs> Now, for that, first let us uh, determine what is XU max. <coughs> Why? Because we have to determine the value of ESC as per code. Let me go to the code. As per code, your you can determine the ASC, the amount of this ASC from the area of compression reinforcement from this equation as t2 is asc into fsc now but you had first determine fsc to determine the compression reinforcement for determining fsc you need to determine the value of xu max what is the value of xu max that you require the sorry the value of xu max that that is existent so So X U max is how much? 0.46 for FE 500, is it? Then what is the next thing you require? D dash, now D dash is known to us. It is 48 mm, thereby your FSC first. It is 0.46 multiple D. 
Multiply by it D. Is point four six is multiple D. Right, right. Right, right. This is multiplied by D. It's X U max by D. So D is four twenty nine here. So ye kitna aara? Aaj ye kitna aara? One ninety seven point three four FSC is point zero zero three five into X U max minus D dash by X U max by X2 max is 197.34 minus 48 by 197.34 so its value is how much Point zero zero two so FSC value is coming to be point zero zero two. Yes. If the session closes, the you to citrine ka value hai na? Haan ji. Ye to citrine ka value hai. Uh, this is corresponding to strain. Sorry. This is ESC. FSC corresponding to ESC. I'm sorry. You get confused while you are doing it online. यहाँ बहुत सारी चीजों का ख्याल रखना पड़ता है